Uh oh. That's another problem. If you come back down here, you're gonna get punished. Okay, that's a problem in the game. You can actually uh, transition screens by jumping. Everything I say is based on my own opinions and experience. I'm not speaking for the public, and my feedback should be treated as such. You are watching Miko Evaluates. With 25 years of experience on Mega Man games, 7 years of doing the No Miss Buster Only challenge, and countless Snapster races, as well as being the QA tester for Mega Man Unlimited, I'm here to tell you my honest opinion on different Mega Man games. So sit tight and learn. Hello people and welcome back to Nico Evaluates Mega Pony. Okay, I just realized that there's nothing in the middle, it's just black. No Dr. W or anything else. Not a huge deal. Just looks weird when you have beaten some of the bosses here. Well, kind seems easy, right? Why do I feel like I've seen that pony on the show? Right, I would probably color the uh, ladder different from the foreground. Make it stand out more. Uh, the ups and downs are done well in the sense that uh, they come out soon enough so you actually see them before you jump. So it's not like in Mega Man 4 where you jump and then they get you. Which is just bad. But here I think they're done pretty well. It's just a, a slim hitbox, so you really have to nail your shots. So maybe I make them a bit bigger. That's the whole idea of uh, making ups and downs good. Don't have a... Uh... It's good there's a wall here. But I don't um, have too slim of a hitbox on those ups and downs. It can get frustrating. Let's see the weapons we have. Alright, can't press start. It's gonna take so long to get used to. Okay, I still don't understand the uh, diamond thing. Midbus seems cool. Kinda reminds me of the hot dogs from Mood Man stage, except uh, a tad easier. They don't alter their uh, projectiles at, uh, at all. I would actually hope that they did. That was a bit too easy. Then again, it's uh, almost the beginning of the stage. So I guess that can be, uh... So I guess that's okay. So here... I, I don't like when uh, you battle mini-bosses and they're not completely on the screen. Like here, I can't see the whole uh, sprite of the mini-boss. All I see is the head. Uh, really drives me crazy. I like my mini-bosses in an enclosure room. So close the room whenever you add a mid-boss. It makes the mid-boss... Uh, look a bit more threatening and you don't have to go back and forth and keep uh, scrolling the mini-boss mini off the screen. It's really frustrating. But so far, really like the designs here. Everything is easy to understand. At least you have the quick switch so you don't have to uh, dick around the menu, which is kinda not good. Interesting water physics, when you first land in the surface, you kinda stop for a moment. And then you just uh, fall down. It's actually a very nice, uh, nice way to do it. I really like those uh, water physics, at least on that little puddle. We'll see how they work when there's more. So is this good or bad? That's good. So some gems are bad, some are good. I don't understand how that works. That was actually nicely done. I was expecting that to work like that. Oh Jesus! Like here, I don't even like. I don't even see the mini-boss, and you make it uh, attack me. I can see what you try to do, you try to make the mini-boss harder and harder every time, but at least have the courtesy to uh, show the mini-boss to me. Like it's just uh, like it's just there off the screen, killing me. So I'd hope developers do a better job of uh, implementing uh, mini-bosses into their games. That's a bit lousy. Do them like that. The challenge is not fair. And it's not about the challenge being unfair e either, it, that's not the only thing. It's also that uh, it makes the game look a bit more cheap. This positioning is not my favorite. 
You have to know to kill this met before you go take those uh, power-ups. If you don't, you're just gonna get hit left and right. Granted, a bit my own fault. I see how you try to imitate the uh, sprite work in Mega Man games where you have the squares around the spikes, but it doesn't look good here. I would actually make the background of those spikes black. That's what I looked a bit better. I'm not sure how to... I guess uh, using this here. That's a bit of a punishment there, don't you think? That was a bit unfair in my opinion. Have that enemy just come out and hit me like that. So now I can't even make it back. That was a bit unfair. Like I made that dash legit. And I got punished by that little uh, up and down there. That was so unnecessary to have it there. I, I would actually take that out. Add another kind of enemy if you have to, but that was uh, that was not good. Uh, made me feel really bad for actually making it and then... The up and down wasn't even flush with the pit. It just happened to be right there when I landed on the platform and knocked me off. I don't like these positions here. It's kind of like the snake man room. And it has the same problem when... You're in a tight corner like this, and you have little space to battle these guys, and you have to go against uh, their line of fire. Really becomes a problem, like uh, I can't... I don't really understand how to do this room. Because I have, I really have to study first. Okay, I can be here, and I can be here. But can I be on the next one? I don't think I can, so it's really inconsistent. I don't know what you want from me in this room. Especially when two of them are there at the same time. I think we got hit during the transition there. Like you... There's no time to actually uh, understand what's going on. Until uh, your whole uh, life bar is pretty much gone. There are safe spots here as you can see, but... Good luck trying to understand that when they are trying to kill you. Uh-oh. That's another problem. If you come back down here, you're gonna get punished. Okay, that's a problem in the game. You can actually uh, transition screens by jumping. That's not good. Fear checkpoint, but I'll take it. Yeah, this guy needs more uh, projectiles or different kind of attacks. It's a bit boring. As well as the uh, positioning. But uh, you should not be able to... Uh, Transition uh, screens by just jumping. That should not be a thing. You really need to disable that. That is not how Mega Man works. Let's see this again. See how, like that, see how the little up and down actually covers, actually covers this platform as well. It should not do that. So that's the mistake. That's a mistake there. And that jump is really ridiculous. I should have dashed or something probably. Yeah, like that. You can just uh, jump up the screen. This screen is really not... it's just not good. Does the shield actually shield us? Not sure. Oh my god. Not my favorite shield of all time, I'm gonna say that. Oh my. Other problem with this is that you transition a screen up like this and immediately there's a show on your face. Like, give me room to breathe before uh, giving me a dumb challenge like that. And again, another one of these is Fort 1. Really, there's now too many of these. In my opinion, anyway. And the Mets, because they don't, the shots don't come out from the actual Met, makes it difficult to understand on situations like that. The ups and downs. Rough in this stage. Jumps like this, uh, not a fan. Don't do this on a Mega Man game. It's not uh, Kaizo Mega Man. It's not, I wanna be the guy. And now as I try to show it to you, I get killed. How did we actually... How did we game over? I thought I... Oh, you have to go to the options every time you start the game? I thought when you select uh, unlimited lives, that stays with you during the entire uh, save file. But the options are not saved in the same file, they are just uh, not saved at all. So every time you start the game, you have to go tick that unlimited lives option. That's not good. 
should I really tie those into the save uh, slots themselves and not the options? Or rather, <laughs> nowhere. That is really sad. Well, at least we got to see the game over screen. Oh no, shit. I really like the walking cycle though. Ah, you can skip that minibus as well, if you so desire. Oh my god, I was stuck! I was stuck in the floor! That was weird. Don't even know what that was about. Man, some of the uh, screen transitions are not flush. They kinda jerk around, like in Mega Maker, when people don't know how to make the stages good. So something to fix there. There we go. Got that to work. And there we go. That worked out. After like five times of trying that, it worked out. Man, that's uh, infuriating there. These take too many hits, I think that's the problem. Way too many hits. The sprite of the minibus is pretty cool though. These uh, remixes of the original songs are pretty okay. I actually like the pause in the original games when you pick up a weapon energy and energy. I'm sad to see it's not here, it's not present. Oh my god, the jump is a bit too uh, hard. Man, some of these positions are not great, but they're not bad. It's just a bit infuriating, these jumps are way too long. Another one of these meat bosses going a bit too overboard. Like, these jumps are just way too difficult. For no reason. Oh my god! Talk about using minibuses a lot. Probably the easiest room with the minibuses as well. Well, there we go. Really nice uh, animation work in this game at times. Oh my lord. Really like the ladder graphics underwater. Like they change color. That's a nice touch. Coming out of the ladder is a bit slow. Like when you try to turn and come out of the ladder. Sometimes that can just uh, mess you up. I think it's because the turning is so slow. Nice that you got rid of the enemies when you transition through gates. Let's see about this. You probably just have to know your distance. But she's hugging you quite a bit at times. Okay. Well, you just gotta know the distance where to be. So that works out. Better than Bright Man. But there are problems present here. She's hugging us so much, it's hard to uh, avoid her. I think that's the only problem with this fight. She gets too close and she hugs you too much. There's n really no good way to avoid this. Like, she just follows you too closely. Like, I understand now where to stand, but... Like, holy hell, she should not come that close. Like, she should not have the jump. Like that one. That's way too punishing. Interestingly, she does have knockback, I think. Yeah, she has knockback. That's pretty cool. But I like the idea and I like how you can actually dodge the enemies. Oh, I like flying squirrels. That's nice. The coolest animal on Earth. This is actually a nice uh, boss battle. Uh, a bit too hectic. I'm not quite understanding how to dodge all of these things here. But, yeah, that weapon doesn't really work for this. She should uh, back away a bit more. Give us a chance. I think the pattern of those little bunnies uh, should be better thought out. I do like how there's a chance uh, she's not actually just random. There's things you can do, but it's gonna be a bit rough. Some improvements uh, could have been done here and this would have been perfect. It's so hard to do uh, 
enemies that uh, freeze time. Because it's always gonna be a, a problem. I like the shading on her hair. And the sprite work is pretty nice in this game. I should probably use the E-Tank. It's a bit too messy of a boss battle. I like the idea. And I like how you can dodge these attacks if you uh, know how. But it's a bit too messy. Oh, I like how you can like unpause the game when the e tank is still filling you up. That's a nice touch. I actually like that. It doesn't interfere with anything. Man, this this is rough. Man, it, it does get a bit too messy. All oh, right, not a bad stage, not at all. Just maybe mediocre. The stair. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Let's check the shop. Graphics are a bit too messy here, I can't really tell what's what. But I don't need to. Mega Friendship Buster. Oh, well, that's interesting. Try honest mayor. Oh boy. Looks like a big guy to me. It's like It's like the Wily team from Mega Man 2. Background is a bit too colorful. Hard to distinguish what's going on and where the enemies are. Mega Man should be about uh, clean colors and not overly complex. Holy shit. Not overly complex uh, background graphics. Like forests and such. And the, even the projectile matches the background color. So it's a bit hard on the eyes. I never really liked uh, big enemies on Mega Man games. A bit clunky and hard to, uh, hard to do well. It's not overly bad. But I just, I'm not a fan of those. And this like looks like a ball again. The backgrounds are so profound at times that it's hard to tell. Is that the enemy from Eternal? The flying thing. Not a fan of that flying enemy. Doesn't really have animation to it, it just... Does what it does and you constantly have to look up while you're trying to battle these normal enemies on the ground. I'm not a fan of that. I can't look. T I can't look to uh, do different places at the same time. It just uh, it cuts the flow of the game. Like a p like PBs actually work well mo in most cases, but that's not. Uh, they still keep coming. I'm not sure I like those. That's well timed though. There, I can give you that. Oh, you can't shoot through the shield of the show. That should be possible. No, it's not. That's a bit sad. Hmm. Okay. Whoa, sound stacking again on on these Game Maker games. If the same event happens uh, multiple times on the same frame, the sound multiplies. Really weird how not many people know how to fix that. It's really infuriating. Uh oh, shit. Man, I really hate those flying enemies. They're just... They just keep coming. They never stop. I do like how the stage the stages are pretty long here. Check the new weapon. Alright, it's supposed to make enemies cry or something. Might as well test it. Hmm. That's nice. Can't kill them. Can't mercy kill. Minus points. <laughs> Doesn't even work on all enemies, apparently. Huh. Nice that you coded different things that the enemies do in response to that weapon. 
but it's sometimes hard to tell if you still get damaged by them and at which point of the uh, anim animation does that happen. So from gameplay perspective, it's not that good of a job. It's hard to realize what's going on as a player should have more clear uh, animations on those. Have the same animation on all enemies so it's clear what's happening. Because otherwise you need to learn the animation for each enemy you're using the weapon on. It's gonna become a bit tiring. And you're probably opt out to use another weapon instead. This uh, stage is a lot about walking. Not a lot of uh, imagination is present in this stage, just uh, recycling the same enemies over and over. I think we despawned that one. Very repetitious uh, stage, I'm not expecting uh, this kind of stage from this game at this point. I expect a lot better placements are horrible in this room here. Not good, hard to kill that guy there. I expect a lot better at this point. Uh oh. Like positions like this. Oh, and uh, by the way, I do realize now that uh, also this position is not that great. Uh, don't have headroom to kill this met, so you just have to fire before it fires at us. But uh, I did realize when I was re watching the first episode that uh, the bosses are indeed not RNG, but some of the patterns just uh, seem so. And uh, that's uh, the danger of making uh, convoluted AIs that are hard to read. It's hard to learn them, but I can see the uh, extent which uh, they put into the game what comes to the AIs of the Robot Masters. So I can appreciate that work that was put into them. But uh, a lot of this is also first impressions as well. So keep that in mind. But I do appreciate the work that was uh, put into the bosses. Maybe we'll go uh, into uh, much more detail in the revisits when I get to play them again. But uh, just so you know that that's a thing. Okay. A robot master design that's uh, completely different from the others. It's got some dustman physics here with projectiles, I can see that. Hard to dodge. See if we can do a better job next time. Damn it. Shit. Oh god. Hard to get away from her when she does that. I'm not sure how to avoid it. Mm. Guess you just have to uh, retreat when she uh, approaches you. I think the uh, suction effect is a bit too... Uh, rough on that part. And this is where uh, the factor of slow turning comes to play. When you try to turn, and you turn so slowly, you just end up getting fucked in the ass. So this is one occasion where that actually comes into play. Again, a bit hard to read. Uh, the jumps... I believe the spring doesn't... Well, the spring does animate when she jumps. But it's so subtle, it's hard to notice. Hitbox might be a bit off as well. Getting used to that mechanic though, that's pretty nice. Very hard, hard of a boss, without E-tanks at least. Man. That uh, punch attack is pretty difficult to avoid. But once you get the hang of it, I do like it more and more. Just not something I would expect to see in a Mega Man game. I mean, it's, it's not bad. Um, that's that's the thing that sometimes happens. Uh, she just corners you and there's little to nothing you can do about it. If you misposition yourself once, uh, you're good as done. Uh oh. Luckily you don't get hit by the hose of that vacuum. I wonder if she changes up her patterns like the others. I do like the challenge though, it's very nice. You don't just uh, curb stomp every boss, you actually have to uh, 
learn them. Which is very nice. Uh, you don't see that often in a fan game. So I can appreciate it. As, uh, as you keep hammering on her, you have a better chance. Well, we're just getting pummeled. You just have to pick when you uh, shoot shoot at her. Because if you just uh, keep spam spamming, uh, you are in danger of uh, getting hit yourself. You probably want to stay close. That's my guess. Maybe that's the strategy we'll try here. Nice that you can shoot her uh, when jumping back here. So what if we stay close? Because there's nothing nothing else uh, she can do except punch. So if we stay close, maybe... Yeah, it definitely helps. Just stay close. As opposed to being far away. Oh, the first time she's sucking from the right side. Hmm, we just had weird RNG uh, thus far. Well, it definitely works a lot better when you're just close to her. A lot better. I kind of like this now. I like this boss actually. Uh, it's actually uh, well done considering how tall the uh, how tall the boss is. It's very well done. Okay, I do like that. It's pretty cool. Gotta give you a thumbs up for that. That was nice. Apple bucker. Well, if you agreed on what I said, leave a like. If you disagreed, leave a dislike. Catch you next time. That looks cool as hell though. Can't wait for that.